hi everyone welcome back to my channel on nikki's thoughts this afternoon and so um if you're new to my channel my name is Nikki. i reside in ireland and i have a channel called nikki's thoughts or nikki's thoughts is just to discuss whatever that comes um, into my thought and so last week i came here and mentioned that uh, i'll be giving us a tip on how to help us as parents during this pandemic how to help us to um, with our children that are doing um, on remote learning, especially if you're back in uh, um, some European countries or some countries where there's lockdown, like I, I reside in Ireland and at the moment there's lockdown in Ireland. So this is just to give us a tip on how to uh, how to handle things and how to make sure we check on our children to make sure that they're doing the right thing during this season so um like i said um uh, i'm a teacher by profession and so i'm just going to share um one or two experiences that i've seen um in this kind of pandemic and lockdown in totality and so um one tips i want to give us uh, today um uh, for parents is to make sure that you you check up on your child depending on your child level uh, maybe a primary school or senior infants or primary school or secondary school make sure you check up on them and make sure that you establish and let your child stick to routine whatever routine that they've been given to them in school um just make them um stick to their routine for example for example in and um, in my own school or we where the students have to follow the timetable so make sure you check up on these teachers or the school or the principal or the school might have um teacher lays parent liaison um teacher that will call on or you can actually get a number from school where you can relate with the uh, teacher uh, parent liaison teacher and so and they're always always ready to help you so you can check up on them to find out how your child is doing is your child sticking up to the routine and what's the timetable all about did they have to follow some kind of timetable and um like we the students in my own situation the students have to follow the normal timetable um the class they have normally during the virtual classes um during the actual classes it's the same thing they just have to follow the timetable okay so they have english nine o'clock and they have maths ten o'clock on their actual timetable they just check the timetable that's the way it works uh, in my own case it might be different from your child school so it will be better for you to check with the teacher the parent liaison teacher or call the secretary of the school ask them for the number normally the teachers will actually get in touch with parents and then make sure that uh, your child stick in into the routine and again another thing there that you have to consider it's make sure that your your child has an an effective devices like um, if he's using the phone make sure that it's the, the phone has the camera and then that the audio is um, audible enough and um, so that the child can actually contribute to the class at the same time um, if you have to show the face and show face and in some cases um, removing the camera or showing student face it's 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 an option depending on each individual school some children are more of camera shy and they're not going to like anything learn anything if the camera is on their face but in that case um it's allowed for the students to not to use the camera or as from parents you just have to make sure that the child is really engaged in the class behind the camera and that's very very important to put things like that in place and then again because they, they are staying at home you need to encourage the physical activities and exercise you know um they go for fresh air um come back home or they could do some activities like yoga or dancing or something exciting within the house they could do skipping you know just to make sure that they are exercising and they make sure that they they are hydrated all the time they're not dehydrated 
they're drinking enough water enough drink at all time to keep them hydrated during the classroom make sure they're managing themselves so check up on them regularly make sure they're engaging with the study and they're learning something um i have some um uh one-on-one -on -one with um, some of the my own you know in my own case i was talking to some of the students and then most of them actually some students actually prefer learning in this way because they can actually go back to whatever they learn it might be different from ch children are quite different or it's been exciting this year compared to last year when we first started the the pandemic that we don't know what to do structure has been put in place to ensure that the ch children maximize their education at this at this period so um we just have to do our own bit our own parts to make sure that our children are actually engaging and they're learning something so until you see my voice again please uh, try um click on the notification leave your comments please subscribe to the channel and until you hear my voice again this is nikki and saying good afternoon god bless you on Nikki's thoughts. Bye for now.